Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Project Ascension. Today we're checking out the World Forged Mystic Enchant known as the Vampire Lord. This guy is going to be a damage dealing healer. It's going to be very similar to like a Warlock and a Shadow Priest. A little bit of a healing, a little bit of damage here. We're going to jump right into it and show you how to get it. Alrighty, so we're in Orgrimmar. We're going to head over to this teleporter here. Hop into here. We're going to the Western Plaguelands first. Costs about 8 gold. It's going to drop you off in a parachute. You're going to want to fly towards either the east or the west playlands. Coming over here along the river here, there is one of the bloods. I can show you guys how to get that. You're going to have to get a couple of those bloods, about 15 of them, five for each quest. Um, now, this is what it looks like. There's a little blood on the floor. There is two guards here. There's usually not any guards. I think someone maybe started this one and wasn't able to finish it. Now they are quite strong, take those guys out real quick, and then after that you're going to right click the blood. The people are going to come out, they are pretty strong again, so make sure you have a good build or at least uh, a lot of gear. Kill those guys, and then by the time you're done there you'll have your first blood. It's a little vial, I'll show you here in a second. There it is, it's the blood of heroes, you need 15 of these total. Next you're going to come over here to the edge of the river, over by uh, this guy and his horse. There is a cave, this is going to be where you get your first blood conversion right into this terror web tunnel you're gonna head into the tunnel and then after you kill these guys there's gonna be like a split off to the left is where you're gonna go a couple more baddies to take out all right and then after that the little sarcophagus there the little guy mummy that's wrapped up once you kill everything you're gonna click on him and then you're gonna turn those bloods into a better vial or so so after that back to orgamar we're going to be going to Thunderbuff. This is a horde based guide, so if you're Alliance, you might have to another route to get to these different places. But this is the easiest and quickest way I was able to get to these places. Next place we're going is uh, Ferrolas. There is a small island that we will have to go to. So if there is an easier way to get there for Alliance, just head that way. Um, the WoW Wikipedia and stuff helps out a lot. I just have to look for like classic Lich King era stuff. We're heading over to the Shadow Prey Village. There's a lot of water here, which is great. You could also go to the, there's a place below that was pretty quick as well. But if you don't have a fast mount, traveling through the water is very quick. So after that, you're coming down here to this island here. Uh, this isn't as bad because these enemies are around like 40 to 50. You're going to head through this way to the right. Straight down to the back, there's a small cave to the right. And there is another mummy there waiting for us. You are going to click him, and then you're going to be able to turn those five vials into a better one. And then lastly, we're heading back to Orgrimmar. If you have one of these teleporters in Stormwind, for example, that would be a good idea. We'll head into Winter Spring, and then Winter Spring, we're going to go towards the southmost area. More so southeast, just because of the way the map is set up. There's this large bridge here. You're going to have to cross this. And then once you get to the edge of the bridge, there is this like burnt-looking area towards the uh, Whisper, Dark Whisper Gorge. These guys are very strong. They're stronger than the elites at the other place. A lot of these have this blood forge thing. I think it's a high risk mode thing. So they're quite powerful. So be careful and take notice. All right. So you're going to head down this way towards the bottom. You're going to have to go through a couple caves. So you might want to pay attention just because it does get a little confusing. I had to do it once or twice. After you take those guys out, you're going to head to your right, head down this way. There's a few more in another cave. You're going to head through that cave there. And then once you get out of this cave, you're going to head right again. So you're going to head around to the right, keep going. If you follow the map, it's almost straightforward, but there's a few different ways you have to go. Keep going to the right. Then there's two more caves. You're going to go on the leftmost cave. The uh, right one takes you to like a dungeon or something. So yeah, make sure you go left. And then once you come out of this cave. And then there is another cave right in front of it. So just keep going straight. And then when you come out of this cave, you're going to take a left here. There's usually a lot of enemies here, so be careful. And then there's this little tree stump looking dirt mound with a burning thing. All right, and then that should be your third and final vial. You're going to right-click those guys. They're going to combine into the enchant. You're going to take that enchant. Don't forget to put that on a piece of blue gear or higher. 
then you can head to the mystic altar and you can extract that essence put it on a piece of gear and you're ready to become the vampire lord so stay tuned for a future video because we're going to actually play this class this uh enchant see how it rolls so don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for that check out some of the other videos some other builds and some of the other enchants that we have gotten and thank you for watching catch you guys in the next one